end of March and April. So I'm really happy that I was I'm able to add this season and being able to do what I'm doing now. Yeah. Where was it? Where is the stress fracture? Oh, it was on my foot. Yeah, you've been very consistent at this level for a long time. You know, we don't see, we only see 800 runners able to carry it. Like, how have you been able to do it? Well, I've seen other 800 runners go in their 30s and do what I'm doing, and I'm, I just want to be another one on that list. Um, I started out competing and doing well later on in my years, like at the age of 27. So I think that's why I'm, I'm able to still be keeping up with these little youngins. You know, I'm like 11 years older than most of them, so um, I just have to try to hold my fort out there. Yeah. When you heard a thing Mo was considering skipping worlds, what was your reaction? I was like, why? Like, she needs to come and run. Yeah. Come on, you know? So you weren't thinking, oh, this might boost my medal chances? No, because my medal chances is there whether I think Mo is there or not. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody's name is on the medal. Yeah. It's a new beginning, it's a new day, it's a new championship. Yeah. Anybody can, I see the favorites come lose, don't make it to the next round, anything can happen. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you for the time, Natoya. Real quick, Natoya, just what does it mean to you, kind of like you were saying, just the opportunity to represent Jamaica on the world stage for another year? What does that mean to you? It means a lot, you know, being the age of 32 and still going and still running great times. I'm really honored and I have to give God all the glory because he has placed a coach in my life that is so understanding, Mark Elliott and a great husband and my supporters and prayer warriors. So it's been an honor being able to represent the Black Green and Gold again. There you go. Well, Jamaica's very proud. Good luck in the next rounds. Thank you. Thanks.